From the inventors of the round biller comes a set of powerful and innovative machines for Farming Simulator 22, including the world's first self-propelled biller. The Vermeer pack includes five efficient and unique machines by the international manufacturer from North America. The ZR5 1200 self-propelled biller by Vermeer, the first of its kind, you produce bills as fast as possible with great comfort and maneuverability, but without the necessity of a tractor. Zero turn capability and high transport speeds saves you a lot of time on and between the fields. A trailed mower, a twin rake, as well as a high duty baler and bale processor are also included in the Vermeer pack to round off the selection of sturdy machinery to make your grassing operation more efficient. Today we are taking a look at the new Vermeer pack from Giant Software for Farming Simulator 22 released on the 23rd of August 2022. So join me, the Game Hedgehog, for this first look. In case you have forgotten, my name is the Game Hedgehog and we are back in Hope Belleron for this first look video of the new Vermeer pack released on the 23rd of August 2022. The approximate size is around about 395 meg and is developed by Giant Software. So in the words of Giant Software, let's get things done more efficiently. And let's start things off with the TM1410. This trilled mower weighs 3 tonne. There's six slots on console with that going down to one once you buy the first. It has a required horsepower of 110. It has a working width of 6.3 meters and a top speed of 13 miles per hour or 22 kilometers per hour. And it costs 49,500 of your in-game cu currency. So let's take a look at it in the store. You will find this under Moors. There it is there, the TM1410, 49,500 of your in-game currency, has 110 horsepower, 3 tons, has a working width of 6.3 metres, and a working speed, top speed of 30 miles per hour. So let's take a look. Under wheel brand, we have Trelleborg, Veristein, back to Trelleborg, under Veristein, we just have the Stella tyres along with Trelleborg as well. The license plate, yes or no. And that is the Vermeer TM1410. Next, we have the R2800 wind rower, weighing only 2 tonne. And it is also 6 slots on console, with that going down to 1 once you buy the first. It has a required horsepower of 80 and has a working width of 8.5 metres. It has a top speed of 10 miles per hour or 17 kilometers per hour and it costs only 33,000 of your in-game currency making it a fair sized rather cheap wind rower. Let's take a look at it in the store. So under wind rowers, let's just go to the very end there, the Vimea R2 800, 33,000 of your in-game currency has a Working horsepower of only 80, weighs 2 tonnes, has a working width of 8.5 metres, and has a working top speed of 10 miles per hour. And you pretty much get what you get with an option for a licence plate, and that, again, is your choice, so yes or no. And that is the Vermeer R2 800. Moving on. To the Vermeer 605N is it slots on console without going down to one when you buy the first, has a required horsepower of, of only 100, with three ton it can produce round bales ranging from 125 centimetres to 180 and costs 56,500 of your in-game currency. So let's take a look at it in the store. This you will find under balers. Let's just quickly just scroll along there. There it is, the 605N, 56,500 of your in-game currency, has a required horsepower of 100, weighs 3.9 tonne, can produce bills of 125 centimetres to 180, and has a working top speed of 10 miles per hour. So let's take a look. And again, there is no customization apart from the license plate, so that would be license plate yes or no, depending on what you want. And that is the Vermeer 605N. 
Moving swiftly on to the BPX 9010, this spiel shredder is 6 slots on console with a going down to 1 when you buy the first, has a required horsepower of 105, and holds 2 bills with 2.4 ton and will cost you 29,500 of your in-game currencies. So let's take a look at it in the store. You will find this under animals. The BPX 9010 with a price of 29,500 has a required horsepower of 105 but except two bales weighs 2.4 ton and is six slots on console with that going down to one when you buy the first and that is the accepted bill types right there as well so let's take a look again there isn't much customization with, with this with it just being the license plate yes or no and lastly, the ZR5 1200 is 12 slots on console with that going down to 1 when you buy the first. Has 200 horsepower, has a 333 litre diesel tank, and has a top speed of 29 miles per hour or 48 kilometers per hour, making it no slouch. It has a working speed of 11 miles per hour or 18 kilometers per hour. It holds 4,000 litres of product, and that is hay, grass, and straw and can produce bales ranging from 125 centimetres to 180 centimetres just like the 605N. So shall we take a look at the final implement in the store. Now when you go into the store you will notice a new, ca a new category which is balers and it's under vehicles and there is a, the ZR5 1200, 214,000 of your in-game currency to buy has a um, has so, sorry has 200 horsepower has a very a variable CVT transmission has a 333 litre diesel tank has a top speed of 29 miles per hour it will hold 4,000 litres with 8.9 ton and can produce bales of 125 cent centimetres to 180 and has a top working speed of 11 miles per hour and the bales it will produce is hay, grass and straw. So let's take a look. And now we have um, got some customization this time, which is quite nice. So we've got rim color standard, yellow, and that does the front rims. And I want to say the hook caps on the back wheels there. And back to standard. Under wheel brand, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, Veristein, Nokian, back to Trelleborg, under Trelleborg we have Standard, Wides, back to Standard, under Michelin, we've got Standard, Wides, back to Standard, under Continental, Standard, Wides and back to standard again. Under Midas, you only have the wide tyres, and that has a cost increase of 400. Under Veristein, we have standard, wides, and back to standard. And under Nokian, we just have the standard with a license plate option of yes or no. And that is the ZR5 1200. So what I've done is I have um, taken a contract and I'll show you how some of this equipment works. It's over on field two, I believe, and I'll um, show you different things of the implements collecting straw and things like that as well. So for you guys, it'll be about a couple of seconds. For me, it's going to take some setting up time. So I will see you in a second. So guys, I was completely wrong. It wasn't field two, it was field seven. And the contract is from Rebecca Thibault. She wants us to mow the grass on field seven and dry it with a tether and bale it and take the bales to the livestock market on Fort Belleron. So what we've done is, let me just jump out of this tractor a second. So I'm gonna be using the John Deere 6215R. And we've got the Vermeer TM1410 there, ready to start cutting the grass. 
we've got the the Windrower, the Vim the Vimea R2 800, and we've also got the Vimea Bela the 6 or 5N, and we've also borrowed a Tedder from the store, which is the Vicon Fanex 904. So I'm going to get this grass cut, and I'm going to show you the the things that you need to do to get this to work. It's pretty simple, but it's always good just to go through it. Close the door. Right, so if we come out a second. So when you are attached, if you press left back in here, it unfolds the more, and you may be thinking, why is it on a funny angle? It's because when you unfold it, it goes straight. Hopefully. So that unfolds it, and then we press left back and B to lower, to lower the mower, and then we also press X to turn it on. And there's also left back and right stick, left and right, which turns the angle of the mower as well. So let's get this cut, and I'll see you guys in a second. So the, it is quite nice to um, line up with the edge of a field if you've got a straight field. Use the edge of the moor and run it along this, the side of the field. And again, left back and B roars it and it's already turned on. It's always good to lift it up when you get to the edge because then you don't cut grass that you don't want cut. I'm slightly over the edge. And then we just keep going round, up and down. I don't think there's any more uh, other tools for the like, controls for the mower itself um, other than what I've showed you so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna put the rest of this into one of them fast things I, c I can never remember what what they're called you know I'm gonna have to realign it just for the rest of the field so I'll see you guys in a second Final strip now, and then we'll get the the te the tether attached, and then I'm gonna do a jump cut there because you've all done te tethering before. You know how it how it's done. So what we'll do is we'll finish this off, and then you'll see a really good jump cut of me when I have tethered the grass and I'm ready to windrow. Park this up.
So Terran will, will be complete in three, two, one, now. And through the magic of editing, the when the tedding is now complete, and I'm just about to attach the Vermeer R to 800. So let's go outside the cab and we'll attach, and then let's have a look. So we've got left back in here and folds the wind roar. Nice animation there. And then we've got on left back, we've got left back and right stick. You can change the width of the wind right itself. Nothing on right back. That's just the controls for the tractor that I'm using. So let's do left back and B, lowers it. And then we'll turn it on. Pull the forward just a little bit. Now like that. I quite like this actually. It's the first time that I've used this since it released. But it's picking up quite well. It shouldn't take too too long to get this all done. Get to, to the end, left back and beat, lift it up. Turning circles quite wide because it's a wide wind I'm guessing. Line back up. And again guys, I'll see you when the wind run's complete. So now that the wind run is complete, it's time to get this field built using the 605N from Vermeer. So we are already attached, engines running. So if you zoom out to a bit there, left back and B lowers the pickup, and left back and X turns the bailer on or off. So if we go to left back again, what I always do when I bail is I turn on the automatic drop. This allows the bail, the bail, sorry, that when it's filled, it will automatically drop each bail. So we're gonna turn that on by pressing up on the D-pad. That's brilliant. And then we're gonna start bailing this field. It's picking up, it's picking up, it's picking up. But I've had a bit of a play with this in my regular in-game. In-game? My personal game that, I, that I'm playing at, at the moment. First build's done. And for some reason now, if you take on grass work, the game likes to give you the Vermeer pack as the, as the equipment. Which is, I think that's quite a, a nice touch that, the, that they've done that. I think we'll get five bills, maybe. What I will show you, though, is what happens when you turn the automatic drop off. So if you turn it off, the bill I will fill. get a beep at about 95, 92%. So pull forward just slightly until you get your 100%. There's 100 there. And then go left back. Then go unload Bela by pressing Y. And then left back and Y again to pause the back. And that is the new Vermeer 605N. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this 
this contract completed and then I will meet you back down at um, the facility. See you in a second. So after getting that job complete, we are back at the facility. So we are taking a look now at the Vermeer ZR5 1200, which is a self-propelled Bella. It's also the first in the game for Farmer Simulator 22. So let's jump in. Beacons on, right back and up on the D-pad. Start the engine, right back and X. And we're going to go left back and B to lower the pickup. And left back and X to turn the bitter on. Pick up all the straw, which should be aiming for about 5,000 meters of straw. In cab. Now what I do is I like to get to the end and I like to turn me turn the pickup off. control on this is really it's really good for being self-propelled it's quite it's got a nice little tight turn cycle I'll turn it back on just over halfway now I haven't turned the automatic drop off because I want to do it manually Just started to beep. Um, I know when there's about five percent left, so not much more now. Ninety-eight percent, ninety-nine, five thousand. So what we do is we'll unload the bailer. Bailer comes out. Pull forward for the next item that I'm going to show you. But that, that itself is the Vermeer ZR5 1200. Turn the engine off and the beacon. Let's jump back in the John Deere 6215R. Amazing tractor, by the way. Start it up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Vermeer BPX 9010 to pick the bill up and to shred it. So if we we're gonna line up on the bill. Now what you can do with this is you can go left back and right stick up and down, raises and lowers the back. And then we're gonna use the way I reverse is I look backwards and hopefully I'm going to line up with this bill. Nice and slowly. Right. So if I go left back and right stick up and down now it should. Oh. Come on. Tricky. It can't grip the bill. Hmm. Am I doing it wrong? Hang on. Let's try again. I think I should be able to slip this up. Unless the bill's too small and it's gonna fall through, which I think is gonna be the case. So what I recommend is going larger than 125 cent cent centimeters for your bill size. Right, 
because right now I'm really making this look impossible, and it shouldn't be. Yeah, right. Bear with me, two cents. A few moments later. So, I got there in the end. Uh, this is the Kubota SVL97-2. This is from the previous video. Go check it out. Link in the top right corner of your screen. So what I've done is I'm using this because it was still got it on one. I'm going to finish off loading this bill into the bill shunner. Deere 6215R. Just set the engine first before I can raise the back of the shrine. So, let's go down here. So, left back, left back, and right back allows you to unload the. Um, the bale from the shredder, but there's also uh, different types of the way it unloads. So let's take a look at them. So we've got under right back and down, we've got tip side straw blower, and then on when we press right back and down, we've got tip side unload. So let's do straw blower first, and then we'll get this unloaded. So left back and right back together unloads, left back and right back and Y to unload. Which is ideal for going through all of your animal pens. There we go. Turn that off. And then if we come back down. We change it. To tip side unload. That's going to just put it all into one pile. Like it's been windrowed, kind of. There we go. Turn the engine off. And the beacons. And that, guys, is the Vermeer pack. But before I go, there's one more thing that came with this pack. And that is if you go into wardrobe. Under tops, we got the green and black Vermeer hoodie, the grey Vermeer jumper, the black camo Vermeer t-shirt, and that's from the Platinum DLC. Uh, we'll be looking at that in the next coming weeks. Under pants, did we get pants? I'm not sure if we did. Let's have a quick look. No. I don't think we did under boots. No under hats. We only got the green and grey hat. So let's pop that on. And I'll put on the green and black hoodie. And with that, it is time for me to end. So please don't forget to leave a mod a five star review if you've enjoyed their mod as this helps not just the modder but the community as well go check out my past streams by finding the facebook page the game hedgehog send me pictures of your farming adventures or check out the latest mods and updates on instagram at tg hedgehog or lowercase tweet me on twitter at tg hedgehog capital t capital g capital h and don't forget about twitch at tg underscore hedgehog and of course right here on YouTube as well. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you get notified when my next video drops. But for now, bye.